Hello everyone, our players working here, and today I'm doing something a wee bit different. Um, as you all may know, Doki Doki Takeover got its final farewell update, as well as Doki Doki Takeover Bad Ending getting an update with the uh, unfair difficulty. And you know what? I thought it might be a good idea to make up a timeline for this mod, since obviously now it's coming to a close. The mod will now um, not have any more updates as we know of. And you all would have seen on my community tab that I did put out a written version, but I'm going to explain it in a bit more detail on this video. Right, so, Pixel Monica's weeks, the first week obviously, then Senpai butts in, and then obviously the that leads to Monica deleting girlfriend, and your demise taking place. We can say that your reality takeover mix happens directly after your demise, or at some point during Sayori's, Natsuki's, or Yuri's weeks, because it's not directly confirmed that, like, Senpai's immediately brought back. It might take time, because obviously there's a few cutscenes as well, where we cut back to Pixel Monica trying to get out of Hating Simulator, back to DDLC. But Sayori's week, just normal. Natsuki's week's again, just normal. After Deep Breaths and Yuri's week, we see any, an image of Sayori Natsuki, who is now faceless, and Yuri, who's in her obsessive state, or like a crazy state. That's probably just something that happens in that week. It, I don't think... Well, all I know is that it could, that could well tie into a bad ending with its own subsequent timeline, where bad, like Stagnant, Markov, and Home all take place after boyfriend and girlfriend see that image, because obviously Monica's not back yet. So therefore, that could happen, because obviously Monica's trying to get back to the game to stop this from happening. And then, if so, if you get the good ending, which where Stagnant, Home, and Markov don't take place, Monica's week starts directly after Yuri's week, and Monica just crashes the game. However, if you get the bad ending, where you play bad ending, like the mod itself, the ending cutscene um, has Monica fail to bring the game back, because she's denied access. Mm. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, Monica's weeks, as I said, just normal. But now the festival week happens. This is normal, but we can... Because there's obviously titular MC mix in free play. We can confirm, probably, like most likely, that titular also takes place during the festival week. But MC's too shy to show it the first time, so they hold like a mini festival of sorts, maybe? Not too sure on that one, though. Right, here's my first headcanon. Encore and uh, MC's week happen at roughly the same time. There's one reason I have for this. Siori overhearing MC and boyfriend talking in the club room. Because obviously the encore week takes place in um, the music studio and you're playing as Monica, meaning boyfriend is somewhere else. And about 40 second, no, 46 seconds into MC's first song, so neat, the lights turn off and just after the minute mark they switch back on to reveal Siri, Natsuki, Yuri and... Monica in the background. My theory is Sayori shuts the lights off. 
Monica, Natsuki, Yuri, then Sayori all sneak in. And after Sayori finished sneaking in, she flicks the light back on and then the song continues with the girls in the background. You and Me is up next and this happens probably the day after Encore and MC's Weeks take place. As MC is either walking to or from the school... And when you pick the Doki the MC runs into, Sayori, I believe, is the canon ending because it references DDLC itself. And then, like, Natsuki, Yuri's, and Monica's songs are just there so they weren't favoriting some girl, like, some one of the Doki's. This is confirmed in a comment, I believe, in um, Neat. Uh, High Powered Keys, I believe, said that You and Me obviously wasn't planned, so they originally wanted you to play as Sayori in Neat instead of Boyfriend. Meaning, if that was the case, then Sayori would have ditched after her song, so Joyride, in the Encore Week. Then came back when she heard Natsuki and Yuri and Monica all in there at the same time where our harmony takes place. That's kind of probably a different ending if that actually did happen. I feel like Sayori's ending for you and me is the canon ending, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. So that's probably a iffy head canon. Right, now, after you and me, obviously, boyfriend and girlfriend appear taking... The girls and MC to Philly from Pico's Week in the base game. And one thing I'm going to say now. Takeover Medley is not canon. It's a song the devs made to commemorate how far the mod has come. So Takeover Medley is not canon. I'm telling you that now. I don't think Takeover Medley is canon. And Epiphany drinks on me and Libertina are all their own things. Right, I have something with Wilted. Wilted is obviously after everything, but you could think that you could assume that Monica felt bad for Senpai, decided to sing with him again, but I don't think that's the case because Senpai attempts to reconnect with Monica. So I think that's its own different thing, which is why it's in the side stories thing. But with Poems and Thorns and Dual Demise, I think they happen at some point after after um, your reality takeover mix because of the fact that, obviously, they made up, but... So, it happens after your reality takeover mix, but before Monica goes back to her game and apologises to her boyfriend for everything she did. Because, obviously, she's in her your demise for, meaning she's angry at boyfriend. Constricted tells us that Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki all hang out with someone in the real world. I think this happens directly after you and me, unless they went back after boyfriend and girlfriend showed them Philly. Yuri obviously went to the restaurant that Tabby was at. Natsuki had a screaming battle with Sunday. So you could also imply that she met Carol and then Sayori met Zipper and brought Zipper back to the club room and then constricted starts. I feel like Catfight happens after Constricted because Natsuki talks to Yuri about how far she can sing. She doesn't specifically reference Sunday, but I feel like it would happen afterwards because she still has it in her mind. And then Love and Funkin' is... I feel like Love and Funkin' takes place at some point around when the Encore and MC Weeks take place because all of the girls are present so there's no sign of anyone doing anything else 
So you could assume that MC and boyfriend are hanging out again, but I feel like that will be after all of the encore and stuff, but you can tie it in. And that's about it, so I feel like, in general, there will be a timeline that comes up on the screen. And yeah, that'll happen. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.